caregiver etiquette. People who are skilled in their work can still find themselves without a job due to recurring patterns of unprofessional behavior. As a caregiver, you hold a significant amount of responsibility. Seniors require a lot of constant care, and some may not be as friendly as you hoped. This can make the job difficult some days, but it's always important to maintain proper etiquette. Building a relationship with your client can take time. That relationship starts with you showing your client that you are dependable by showing up to work on time. So be responsible and show up when you're scheduled. When you expect to be out of work, plan ahead and give the agency and the client plenty of notice. Let's review some basics of caregiver etiquette. Golden rules of caregiving etiquette. Think of others before yourself. Make your client feel at ease. Respond when spoken to. Be careful not to talk too much. Be a good listener. Maintain your client's independence. Be understanding and in control of your frustrations. Maintain your composure and try to avoid stress. Focus on your client's needs instead of your own. Maintain confidence and smile. A smile can go a very long way when working with the aging population. Providing quality caregiving should be authentic and sincere. Caregiver do's and don'ts. Since many caregivers work for multiple agencies, make sure you know what each agency allows because every company is different. Let's go through a few examples. Traveling with the client in your car is not always allowed, so you need to find out if it's allowed with the agency you're working for because of liability issues. If it's not allowed and you get into an accident, the responsibility will fall on you, not the agency. If you decide to take the client in the car to run an errand, does this go against the agency's policy? Make sure and find out. If you decide to run an errand for the client, most agencies do not reimburse for travel, so make sure you are clear on this policy. What is considered light housekeeping? Here are some examples. Sweeping, vacuuming, washing dishes, laundry, and light cooking. What is not considered light housekeeping? Cutting the grass for a client and changing light bulbs. Get to know your client. Since you're going to be spending a lot of time with this person, make sure that you show interest in who they are. Ask them about their kids, grandkids, or the career that they had. Ask about their likes and dislikes. The more you know about them, will make you a better caregiver. Be sure and share things about yourself. This will ease their anxieties and help the two of you create a bond so they're more likely to let you help them. Anxiety. One of the leading causes of anxiety for clients is encouraging your client to take a shower. Let's watch this demonstration on the best way to handle the situation. She refuses to bathe at all. If I try to help her, encourage her to take a bath, she argues with me and gets upset, says she's afraid of the water. What can I do? Mom, it's 8 a.m., time for your shower. Oh, I don't need it, I, I don't want one. Mom, come on, please. We've gone over this over and over. No, leave it's me been alone. Don't, week. don't touch me. Come on. It's been a week since your last one. You need one. Please, get undressed. A person with dementia will often refuse, withdraw, or fight during a bath or shower. When you're helping someone to bathe, it's important to be sensitive and tactful and to respect their dignity. Remember, washing is a personal and private activity. Bathing can be scary for patients as dementia progresses. OK, 
Hey mom, it's noon. It's time for your spa treatment. Oh, I, I don't really want to go. But you love the spa. Makes you feel like a queen. Yeah, and after that we'll go to your favorite restaurant for lunch. Well, okay, I guess. All right, good. Let's go. So first let's start by unbuttoning your shirt. I'm going to do the top button and then can you help? Okay. Okay. Good job, Mom. Okay, Mom, I'm going to put a little water on your toes. No, test it. See if it's okay. How's that feel? Yeah, it's, it's warm. Good. Now let's wash down there. Can you do that by yourself? Yes. Great. Okay, we're almost finished. I'm going to turn the water pressure on low and fill up this cup with some water. I'm going to stand up. You just sit right here. Okay, just lean your head back and pour a little bit of water on you. And we're going to gently massage your hair with your favorite gardenia scented shampoo. How does that feel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Reassure your loved one that even though bathing is a very personal activity, you're happy to help. Ask how she feels and how she would prefer to do things. Here are some additional tips on how to help your loved one bathe. Be flexible on the time. If your loved one doesn't like to bathe in the morning, try a different time of day. If the word shower or bath causes anxiety, use a different term like spa or get clean. Make the bathroom inviting by using flameless candles, aromatherapy, or soothing music. It's important that your loved one feels safe. Install handrails and use a shower chair. Limit bathing to twice a week and give sponge baths in between. Let her know what you're about to do one step at a time and have her help as much as possible. Use a towel to drape over her to provide more privacy. If you don't have one available, consider installing a handheld shower head. Being able to aim the water can be helpful and less stressful. Working as a caregiver can be difficult, but it's also very rewarding. Despite the challenges, 83% of caregivers surveyed looked at their experience as a caregiver as a positive one. When another group of caregivers were asked what they enjoyed most about their job, they said, they felt like part of a new family. They enjoyed hearing incredible stories. They enjoyed sharing recipes, working in a home environment, and helping someone who really needed it. Most clients will greatly appreciate the work that you do. As a caregiver, you'll play a vital role in improving their quality of life. You'll have the satisfaction of seeing the positive impacts of your hard work every single day. This concludes the Caregiver Etiquette and Service.